All right, yeah, let's do this. Part two of the slope and y-intercept um, section. The title of this is called Slope and Y-Intercept, as I just said. You know what slope is. That's the rise over the run. The, and what, what is the y-intercept? Well, that is the point where a line crosses the y-axis. And if it's where the line crosses the y-axis, the zero coordinate, or the x-coordinate will always be zero. So it's always going to look like this, zero something for y. It's whatever y is, that's where it crosses the y-axis. So let's look at an equation here, y equals 3x minus 4. If we know what the slope is, well, we'll talk about that in a second, but if we plug in, well, maybe we don't know, sorry. Um, if we plug in 0 for x to find the intercept, we will get 3 times 0, which is 0, minus 4 is minus negative 4. So y equals negative 4. So the point 0, negative 4 is the y-intercept. That's where this thing crosses the y-axis. Okay? Now, what is the slope? Well, to find the slope, we need another point that's on the line. Um, just to be sure, let's, uh, we can see that, that 1, negative 1 is on the line. We could plug in 1 for x, we would get negative 1 for y. That's another point that's in that equation. So to find the slope, we can count up 3 to the right 1. That's 3 over 1. That gets us our slope. Or we can use our formula, uh, the x1, y1, x2, y2 formula, and calculate it here. Uh, we get 3 over 1 that way as well. So the slope is 3, whether we count it from the graph or we calculate it from the formula. So take a look at our equation as we started. y equals 3x. Well, 3 was the slope. y equals 3x minus 4. Well, then minus 4 is the y-intercept. So this equation is in slope-intercept form. Here's what we're going to call this. The formula is y equals mx plus b. You're going to use this for the rest of your algebraic career, all the way through high school for sure. y equals mx plus b, where m, the coefficient of x, the number that's being multiplied by x, that is the slope. And b, the constant, the number that doesn't have a variable, is the y-intercept. So in order to do this, you got to get the y variable by itself. And then when you simplify, the coefficient of x is always the slope, b is the intercept. It ends up being pretty stinking simple. Check this out. So the questions we will be answering include, identify the slope and y-intercept of the graph of each equation. Well, if it's given in y equals mx plus b form, well, m is negative 5, that's your slope, b is 3. So you can write b, that's your intercept is 3, or you can write it as a point, 0, comma 3, that's your y-intercept. Number 2, m is 2 over 3, the rise is 3, the run is 2, or, and the intercept is negative 4. When it's given in slope-intercept form, that's really easy. Number three gets a little bit more of a challenge. In order to, solve, to have y equals m, uh, mx plus b form, we have to get the y by itself. Step number one, in this case, add x to both sides. I'm going to intentionally put the x in front because the x in this form is in front as well. So it's going to become x minus 15 as opposed to negative 15 plus x. Now, divide everything by three. Simplify x... Um, this becomes y equals one-third x minus 5. Negative 15 divided by 3 is 5. x over 3, the other way to write this is one-third x. I like it this way because that shows me my slope, which is one-third. My intercept is negative 5. So I've got some work to do. If it's not in slope-intercept form, it's thinking easy if it is. So um, what about number 4? Well, this is in y equals mx plus b form. I got a number being multiplied by x. That's your m. But where's b? Well, there is none. That's because it's zero. We just, it's been simplified. So um, in this case, b is zero. And so it just you don't, when you have a plus zero, you don't normally write it. Number five is another slightly different situation. This is also in y equals mx plus b form because the y is by itself. But where's the x? Well, the reason there's no x is because it was multiplied by zero. It was simplified out as well. So um, y equals zero, x plus six simplifies to y equals six. So the slope is zero and then the intercept is 6. Those are numbers 4 and 5 are um, special cases there. So the other thing it's going to ask you to do is to graph the equation. Now, if you have an equation that's in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, this is pretty easy. You start with the y-intercept. Go on the y-axis and put, I had y, uh, my intercept was 3, so um, 0, 3 is where it crosses the y-axis. And then my slope is negative 5. 
Well, remember, count, so I'm going to count my slope from here. My slope is negative 5 over 1. So it's either down 5 to the right 1, like so, down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right 1, or it's going to go up 5 to the left 1. Um, the negative slope is going to, uh, now that's a pretty steep slope, right? But yeah, um, that's how that works. You just plot your y-intercept and then count your slope. For number 2, my y-intercept is at um, negative 4. Then I'm gonna, my slope is 3 over 2, so I'm going to count up 3 to the right 2 to get this point. I'm going to do it one more time, up 3 to the right 2, or I could have gone down 3 to the left 2, and then the line is the, when you graph the equation, the line goes through all of those points. Don't, don't forget to, to plot your line. Um, number 8, the intercept is negative 5. Uh, I wish my <laughs> graph was a little bit bigger. My slope is 1 3rd, so it's going to go up 1 to the right 3, up 1 to the right 3, or down 1 to the left 3. Negative, negative for that. And there's my line. Um, number four, the graph of number four, my number nine here, um, it crosses the intercept across the y-axis at zero, 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 the origin. And it's going to go down to, to the right five for a slope um, of negative two down to the right five positive. Or it's going to go up two positive and then negative five left. So um, there's my negative slope. Um, hopefully that gives you some idea. You always plot the intercept and then you count your rise and your run from your slope. That's the lesson. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.